Hey guys, welcome to my first recipe video. Um, I am love steak and it is Valentine's Day, which means it's time for a steak with your significant other. So, I thought I would show you guys how I prepare uh, a ribeye steak and how I think everyone should do it, but you know, that's just me. So, me and Rachel decided we didn't want to go out on, th on uh, Valentine's Day just because it would take us forever to get reservations, you know, and it would be just be a chaos. And so we decided we'd stay in our new apartment and cook a steak dinner um, tonight. So I'm just going to show you in this video how I prepared these two beautiful uh, 15 ounce ribeye steaks. So what I've got here is just a few ingredients. It's all you need. You don't need to overdo it. Um, so all I've got here is some olive oil, some pepper, and some salt. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub the steaks down with some olive oil. Now what this does is not to it's not to drown the steaks in olive oil. It's just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, make sure it's extra virgin olive oil, by the way. Um, but anyway, I'm going to rub them down a little bit on each side. And what this does is it allows the steaks to not burn when they hit the pan. Um, the pan hits the olive oil first instead of the meat. So it gives you a little time and a little extra char on it, which gives you that grilled steak effect. So, uh, And it really just helps your steak from, from burning. Make sure you get it around the sides too, because on the fat, uh, you, you want the fat to caramelize, and that olive oil is going to help you do that. So we're putting a little salt, a little pepper on these bad boys. Man, those are some beautiful looking steaks and I'm really excited about it. We've actually already eaten the steaks and they were amazing. So, um, they were awesome. Look at those things. Now, let's show you how to cook them. So I got a stick of butter here. We're going to take half a stick of butter and one, one clove of garlic. That's all you need. That's all you need. And we're done with ingredients. One clove of garlic and a half a stick of butter. So what the butter is going to do is really going to start shaping the flavor of the steak. Now the garlic, you're just going to crush it, uh, and so you have your whole clove of garlic there, and just maybe cut it in half one time. You don't need to mince it. You don't need to use that because that'll get all down in the steak, and you don't want to bite into a piece of garlic while you're eating your steak. So now let's put some oil in the pan. Be generous, because that oil is going to save your steak. Now this is if you can't cook it on a grill. If you want to cook it on a grill, go ahead. But I'm starting to like the pan-cooked steak even more. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just preference. Um, probably because I can't have a grill where we live at right now. <laughs> so um, anyway, we're going to make sure that your pan is piping hot. It's got to be super hot so that when you lay the steaks in there, they don't... Uh, they don't soak up a bunch of stuff. They're just gonna get lay down, lay down in there and start sizzling. You want to hear that, that s, that s. You know, you want to sear the steaks on both sides, so that the the flavor is trapped in the steak. You don't want to burn it. You know, you just want to sear each side. So, uh, and what a lot of people do, they make the mistake of flipping the steak a hundred times, and it really does take away the flavor because you don't give the steak enough time to sear on each side. You can see there now you've got that beautiful uh, brown charring going on and it's seared on that side and I probably could have left it a little bit longer but you know. Anyway so both sides of the steak are looking really good and we've just got olive oil in the pan right now. That's all we got. Oh hello. Hey there. I cook a steak for you. So the steaks are here and now what we're going to do is add in our garlic. Remember that? So we're going to take the clove of garlic and put one at each um, each pole, the bottom and the top. So that garlic is going to start cooking in with that olive oil and we're going to add our stick of butter. Now you want to put it in the most open place on the pan so that the butter melts the fastest in that spot. You want that butter to melt before your steaks get too overcooked. You can already see the butter's just falling down the steaks. It's beautiful. I love it. Mmm. I love some steak. And so one thing that I always do, it doesn't look like it makes a lot of a difference, but I just take the garlic and brush it over those steaks. And man, it really does make a difference. Just give it that extra garlicky butter flavor. Now this is the this is the keystone right here. This is what you have to do. You have to take that butter, olive oil, garlic mixture and baste it over those steaks. Just scoop it up and let it run down over those steaks and do it as much as you want, as much as you can, because that's what's going to really shine through in the flavor. And there you've got two beautiful 
ribeye steaks, and you couldn't ask for a better meal on Valentine's Day. I mean, come on. Fighting the chaos of a restaurant when you can have something even better and cook to perfection the way you want it in your home. So that, my friends, that is how I cook a ribeye steak.